Joining me now is Radia Adama Sani, who is CEO of Moon Touch Travels Limited. Uh, she is uh, a travel and tour operator. Just to uh, discuss further some of the things that you heard Sean Mendes say, great to have you on the program tonight, uh, Radia. And so we'll come uh, to the issues about air ticketing and cheaper travel options in a bit, but you're just returning from Dubai with a group of uh, Ghanaian tourists, I believe. Uh, tell me about your experiences over there amid the pandemic. Um, how different was it, that experience? If you could unmute, right here. Hi, Dara, can you hear me? Please? I can hear you now, right here. Hi, good evening to your viewers. Actually, we just returned from Dubai last week with a group for the Christmas holidays. And uh, before, before setting up for the travel, many people were actually um, a little bit scared because of the COVID. But we went through our COVID test in Ghana. Mm. Thank God, all everyone was actually negative. We embarked to Nairobi, through Kenya Airways. We had a, a nice city tour in Nairobi, uh, of course, with, with protocols of the COVID observed. Everyone in Nairobi observed that the mask was actually compulsory there. And then it was very safe to be in the city of Nairobi. And we continued to Dubai. The story was not different in Dubai. In fact, the only time you find yourself without mask in Dubai is only when you are about to take a picture or actually when you are eating. That's the only two ways by which you can actually stay a minute or two without your mask. Mm. And so right now, it's rather even much safer to travel uh, because actually if you are stuck in your country, you never even get to know your status at all. But if any travel comes your way, you are compelled to do the test and you are very sure that you are negative, you are actually mingling with everyone in the F and the flight that are also negative. Of course, you can't be positive and even get to travel. And oh. so the fact that many people think COVID should rather prevent them from traveling, I think this is a time we should rather even encourage travel because this is just the best way you can get to test for COVID after all. Right. So it your really point is that to it's, it's safer to travel now than it, it was before. But I guess for some people, it's the cumbersome nature of it, the fact that they have to go through rigorous testing, mm -hmm. testing one country and the other. And um, I was speaking with some pundits uh, a few days ago who were saying that, you know, the fact that Ghana has even uh, tightened the testing regime would be a discouragement for travelers. Do you share in that perception? Um, actually, uh Traveling in general has become difficult for every country, not only in Ghana. And when you look at the COVID rules that have been set by Ghana, uh, Ghana Aviation and the Ghana Airport Company Limited, yeah. you realize that even there are certain countries that the rules are even more strict than in Ghana, because the uh, Ghanaians traveling only um, get to experience two type of COVID tests when you are leaving Ghana and also when you are coming into Ghana. There are certain countries like Nigeria, when you spend, when you are in, in Dubai and you have to go back to Nigeria, you still have to do the test in Dubai before you set off. When you get to uh, Nigeria, you still do the test before you come out. So at the end, you get to do like three or four different type of tests. So I think that our rules here are a bit flexible. People just argue with the prices of the COVID test. But then, then when, when we got to Kotoka last week, we actually spent about 10 minutes doing the test. And trust me, it was a very smooth process, very, very quick and accurate. And I think that these are the kind of things that we should look at instead of just generally thinking that traveling has become more difficult this period. It's no denying fact that it's true traveling has become a little bit difficult. Right. But come on, we can't keep being in our rooms forever or in our houses forever. And you seem very upbeat about the prospects for this year. Uh, not so many people think the same way as you, as you do. But let's talk about um, air tickets, uh, because that's the point I wanted to make. We listen to Sean Mendes there. He talks about the fact that in the middle of the year, he expects that uh, people will have cheaper travel options because then, hopefully, because we have the vaccines, uh, people will be hoping to travel some more. In, to my surprise, and I, I just got really surprised when you told me that, I mean, the situation right now is not making airline operators reduce airfares, you are telling me. And so um, how do you see things panning out in future? 
Um, actually, before the reopening of the borders, the general expectation was that price of tickets were really going to be extremely high because of the loss incurred by the various airlines during the pandemic period. Most airlines had to lay down, lay off staff, and then a whole lot of other things went on. But thankfully, when things started, the airlines were, uh, excuse me to say, a, a little bit reasonable with passengers. And then they, they, they did not use it as an opportunity to increase prices abnormally. Everything still fell within the same range of travel. And as we speak, the further the, the, the airlines try to reduce the prices, then the, the more they intend losing. Because the passenger volume is still not very high, even in this 2021 by projection. But here's the case where even if just that passengers and airline has to take to travel, they also spend the same amount of money on aviation floor. And remember that aviation floor is also on the rise now. And then the, uh, the cost of operations, uh, ground, ground handling and everything else. Remember that the airlines have also got extra costs now because of the same COVID protocols. They've got to get sanitizers and a whole lot of other materials on board, which is also an extra cost to them. But nonetheless, uh, we we still optimistic that by getting to the ending of 2021, right. price of ticket may come down a little bit, and it would mainly do, be due to competition from All the right. various airlines because the little passengers that are available now, every airline is trying to grab them, right. and so the only way the price will reduce would be because of competition reasons, All right, and not right because there. of passenger volume actually. We'd have to leave it here. Thank you so much for your insight and perspective to the issue. I appreciate that you could join us. And welcome back to the country. Radia um, Adamasani, CEO of Munta Travel Limited.